Hi, Sam here. So today I want to talk about magpies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today's 5th of June, um, and since 1st of June I've been feeling really quite out of sorts, and really emotional, having these bouts of tears just wash completely over me. Um, and I was like, what, what happened on the 1st of June? <laughs> Why has this all of a sudden just hit me? Um, so I did ask the universe uh, to give me a sign. Um, and that sign arrived on the 3rd of June. So the 3rd of June um, was a new moon. So there was energy changes going on with the new moon phases anyway. Um, and there was energetic shifts because um, June in numerology terms in um, this year, 2019, is um, significant as well. So... On the 3rd, I came back home after uh, collecting my dog from having a little pamper session. Um, and I pulled the car around um, to park and there was these two magpies just sat there, staring, wouldn't budge, just sat there. I was like, oh. Initially, I thought, oh, that's good. That's a positive thing to happen. And then my brain sort of, um, popped in and spoke to me and said, ooh, mm, aren't magpies unlucky? At the time, um, I was in a rush to get in. Uh, I was more concerned about getting in the house because I was due to be on a webinar call uh, for this OF OFA 30-day challenge that I've been doing and it was the last call for me that I could attend. So I was really really, oh, I'm not going to swear, really annoyed with these magpies, um, that they just want to budge. Um, anyway, so they just, they went out of my head. And then, this morning, I was like, oh, you saw those two magpies two days ago. Uh, you want to know if they were unlucky or not, but you've done absolutely buckle all to find out. So I was like, hmm, okay, let's have a look. Let's hop on to good old Google. So I've been Googling for hours this morning, um, looking at videos, trying to find an answer. Are my pies unlucky? And there was so much conflicting information out there. Um, so I've been piecing together what I've read, what I've watched, and um, yeah. I now understand the message that I was being given personally. And I thought, well, do people, other people want to know this? You know, is anyone else curious out there that what happens when you see a mad pie? Are they unlucky? And I was like, oh, hell yes, yeah, Sam. You've just spent hours going around in circles trying to find out the answer. Is a mad pie unlucky? And I thought, well, you know, it just needs to be a simple answer, really, in one place. So that is the point of this video. I've done all the research. I've gone around in circles this morning. So you don't have to waste your time like I have. Um, it was here for you. Simple. Simple. One place. So, yeah. <laughs> There's different opinions on it. Um, and the symbolism of animals um, is a much wider subject that I won't get into um, in this video but um, I just wanted to say disclaimer that this is just my interpretation um, what my intuition is telling me and you don't have to agree with one word that I say and that's absolutely fine <laughs> I won't be offended um, I've now got more clarity on my understanding of a magpies. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So are magpies unlucky? Well, yes and no. It really does depend on what your belief is. Now in Britain, there are um, there is a superstition, urban myth, whatever you would like to call it, that magpies. Are, can bring bad luck, you know, are unlucky. And there is actually sort of a, a nursery rhyme, a, a phrase that goes like this, um, that's based on how many magpies you see at, at one time. 
So it's uh, one for sorrow, two for joy, three for girl, four for boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret, never to be told. Mm, that sounds a bit intriguing, doesn't it? So, yeah, apparently if you see one magpie, it is considered unlucky. It's sorrow. And what's the reasoning behind that? Well, apparently magpies have a life partner. They mate with that par partner for life. So if you see one on its own, it means he's not with his partner anymore. And, you know, that could be in sorrow. That bird could be in sorrow. So that could be a symbolism of sorrow, bad luck. Okay, I saw two magpies. Um, so that stands for joy. They're all together. They're happy. Top banana. But then, what if I saw one magpie? Oh my God, you know, is the world going to fall down on me? Please don't get yourself into a tiz. Oh my God, I've seen one magpie, you know. Bad things are going to happen. No. If you see one magpie and you believe that it is symbolising to you bad luck or sorrow, there are things you can do to cancel out that bad luck. Um, here, here are some examples. So, if you see one magpie, you can salute it. Uh, you can doff your hat, tip your hat to it. Um, don't worry if you haven't got a hat, you can just do this. Um, but yeah, I found out some a really disgusting um, thing you can do if you do see one magpie, and that is that you spit over your own shoulder three times. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will not be doing that. Whew. Mm -hmm. So, in ancient belief um, and in Chinese sort of myths um, culture, the magpie signifies um, good luck. It brings joy, it brings love, um, brings you lasting fortune. Um, they're very social, they're very expressive, um, very high spirited um, and unpredictable. But with everything, there is always an opposite. So, um, like yin and yang, uh, masculine and feminine, um, north, south, east, west, there's an opposite. So a magpie is also believed to be um, deceptive, sneaky, um, a bit flashy, um, and little thieves. <laughs> they like shiny objects. And there's actually a quote from someone called um, Lord Thompson of Fleet. Um, it, and he said, I have a magpie mind. I love anything that glitters. Yeah, so do I. Um, I love shiny objects and my my glittery thing to me is crystals. I just adore them. Um, so yeah, are my pies unlucky? The yes and no, it really does depend on what you believe. But know that if you do see one mad pie and you believe that's unlucky, just salute it. Send it love. Send it your love. Send it joy. What you give out to the universe, you will receive back. Um, that's the law of attraction. It may not happen straight away, but it will come back to you in some form. So I asked for a sign from the universe. Um, and I got it within two days, these two magpies that just stared at me. Um, at the time, though, I sort of ignored it because I was busy, busy, busy. So what I've learned from this, from seeing these two magpies, is that I need to take more notice of what's going on around me. If I ask for a sign from the universe, I've got to look out for it, you know. And it may be that I may not realise at the time I see the sign and it may happen later and that may happen for you as well. But if you acknowledge it when you see it, like I acknowledged initially that it felt positive to, to see these two magpies, um, it's in your subconscious and it, it will come back up for you like it has for me today when I was lying in bed. Um, now, magpies can be very vocal as well. 
um, they've got a very distinctive um, voice. Um, it, no, I'm not going to try and um, imitate a magpie for you today. Um, I love birds. I just think there's such beautiful living beings. Um, owls, I also love owls. But maybe you might come across some vocal uh, magpies. Um, magpies are also known to like tap on windows trying to get your attention, like tap, 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 and squawking at you. So if you do come across some magpies that are being very vocal, maybe just step back and go, oh, they could be trying to communicate with you. They are expressive birds. So maybe just take notice of what words you're saying, what communication you're giving out, and pay attention to what's going on around you. Um, listen to what people are saying to you. We might all be chasing these shiny objects, reaching for this materialism. I want this, I want that, I want that. Um, it's just a reminder, like, hold on a minute, you know, where am I coming from? Um, and if we all come from a place of love for ourselves and the, out to the world, um, we're in a good place. So maybe you're trying to grab loads of shiny objects um, and just realise, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because it isn't, um, but just watch maybe you're slipping into wants and needs uh, more than um, your inner soul and your inner love that you can give. Um, and remember what you give out, you will receive back. So, I hope this has sort of given a simple explanation on magpies. You know, everything is open to interpretation. Go with what your gut tells you at the time of seeing something. That's your intuition telling you. Anyone can tell you something and you don't have to agree with it. What you feel is what you feel. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, let me know, place a comment if you've um, had any encounters with mad pies. Um, ask the universe for a sign um, and then something um, showed up for you. Be really interested to hear. Um, and what your opinion is. I will put um, in the comments um, simple um, pointers on what I've said here today about mad pies. Um, so I hope to see you soon um, and bye for now.